Truth by Nintendo, Part 12. It's a nice classic follow-up. I should have this review earlier since, uh... I wanted to get the SNES Classic earlier. And, uh... Despite the criticism of Nintendo... I don't really have that much for this one. Um, Nintendo World thing was a bust. Oh, I do have something about GameStop, actually. We'll get into that in a moment. Hopefully I remember before I forget. Overall, it just wasn't that hard to get it. I went, like, one hour before the line started. And I got it, and I was, like, in the middle of the line. I wasn't, in, like, even in the end. Target, Best Buy, uh... Forget where else. And all of that, there was a ticket system. So you don't have to wait in line. You could get some breakfast, take a nap in the car. Like, there was plenty of ways to get it. It wasn't like you had to sleep, like, three weeks, camp out, lose monthly income over this thing. Like, you just take an early lunch, early breakfast, go before work, or take a day off, maybe. Because it was pretty easy to get. Um... Yeah, I, I was never on the back of the line, the last one there, except for GameStop, which we're going to do. GameStop, I was like 7 out of 12. GameStop was shortages. And some people only went to GameStop for whatever reason. I mean, it's a New York City thing, I don't know, but like, it was a GameStop that was next to a Best Buy and a Target, and they didn't go to those two. Like, if you had done the research on like CNN and Forbes or whatever, they said before, like, GameStop wasn't expecting to have a lot per store. I like, uh, Best Buy and Target. Best Buy and Target have like 250 each. Doesn't much they have multiple stores. So if you really, really wanted one, you would get it. Unlike the NES Classic, where if you really, really want one, you still wouldn't get it. There's like 20 per Target, and like it'd be gone. And way before, you'd have to count like a month or a year in advance to make sure you get it. Like, there's no way. It's Super Nintendo Classic, not that hard. I don't know about the second shipment and the third shipment, which are here today, but so far the Super Nintendo Classic shipments have been pretty good. I hear a lot about GameStop getting them. I don't know if it's because people associate GameStop with games only, so they figure they would specialize in more. They think they are specialized or smart with a game store, but not a good idea. Like, Target, Best Buy, Best Buy, let's get it. GameStop, they're way low supply, as I said. We're expecting like 15 to 25 of them. They only had 12 per store. And this was at a mall. They were. I'm thinking that Nintendo might have set up so that GameStop had less. So people would think that there would be more shortages when you actually get it at Best Buy and Target for a lot easier. So like they're weeding out like the, the not so smart sharpers and thinking, oh. I was buying for high prices when Nintendo lied, when in actuality Nintendo was telling the truth and you could actually get them at GameStop. I mean, sorry, Target and Best Buy very easily. I don't know about Walmart, I don't Walmart. Um, that's pretty much all I have to say. I ended up getting eight of them. I already gave two of them to relatives. Plan keeping one. Uh, let's see who else I can give one to. I already posted the thing about the Konami code, I'm not sure about that, and a lot of cheats. Uh, I hear, according to the NES Classic, you can use the Wii U controllers for it, which is pretty cool. I feel like it would revive the Wii U, having different, having good virtual console, then using the SNES and NES Classics to play on the Wii U with the virtual console consoles. I think it's pretty cool. It, I love the Wii U, it's a great console. Um, I don't know... If they could have remarketed the Wii U as a Nintendo or SNES Classic tie-in and sold more Wii U's that way. But the fact that you can use Wii U controller, Wii and Wii U controllers, I mean the Wii mode, which is the Wii U controller for the SNES Classic is pretty awesome. According to the Nintendo website, I haven't tried it yet. I had some photos of my uncle's SNES Classic Wii he's enjoying a lot. Uh, I'm trying to remember what else. And there wasn't really that many problems. If you really wanted one, and wanted to work hard for it, you would get rewarded, which is all I could ask for getting a really hard to get console. If you don't work hard, you're obviously not going to get it. Take a little extra step.
take a million steps and I and still won't get the NES Classic. What is the SNES Classic? And those are my thoughts on that.